I'm here in Tokyo again, which makes me very happy working with Tokyo Metropolitan Symphony Orchestra again. Um, uh, we are preparing a great concert with Tvořák Stabat Mater, which is a unique piece, wonderful spiritual uh, choral piece for four soloists, chorus and orchestra. So I want to invite you, please join us and have this wonderful experience with us. Zehi Kite Kudasai. For my concert with the Tokyo Metropolitan Symphony Orchestra, we bring with my Czech colleagues, the singers I will have with me, uh, maybe the most important Czech piece uh, with the liturgical, with the spiritual meaning, which is Dvořák Stabat Mater. 
Um, you know, it is a piece which tackles, which occupies itself with the most serious uh, topic of one's life, which is, of course, uh, pain and death. It's based on a very traditional Christian uh, verses. But I think what is very, very interesting on this piece, this particular piece, is the fact how wonderfully Dvořák, the composer, was able to transform these painful feelings into, I would dare say, transfiguration. Really, uh, when you listen to this piece, which is quite long, it is a, an hour of duration, you feel that there's really a hope to uh, focus on. And very interestingly, too, Dvořák simply couldn't bring only painful and only sad music, even in this topic. So even in this piece, you find a lot of very harmonious, uh, consoling and, uh, and simply not that dramatically painful moments. Uh, he had been influenced by a lot of his relatives. Uh, that was the outer motivation for that piece and he transformed it into a jewel of, of this particular genre. Uh, so I hope you will like this uh, precious stone of our Czech uh, culture. I think it's the most important cantata next to Requiem by Dvořák you can hear from the Czech heritage. So feel enthusiastic to come and to join us in this event.